Hello guys, it's Moose and we're back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to get every blue fort port achievement in microwave dinner. This game's pretty fun to be honest. It's a really good parkour game. It has its own like physics to it. It's kind of similar to another game I like to play, Robot 64. Fun game by the way, you should go play it. But I'm not going to link it in this video because this is about microwave dinner. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get every blue port fort achievement. I know I'll set it again, but I don't care. So first of all... You, you want to first get the Turbo Wheel Badge, because this badge is actually really important. Because you will need this to get the other things, to get the boost mechanic. So, what you have to do is, if you follow me right here... I know I'm walking on water, but don't try this, you will die. So, come right here, go to this guy over here, and then basically go talk to him. So then, this guy is Junkbot. He will ask you to find three pieces of scrap metal on the map, which can be found on a chest. The first one you obviously saw was over there, so I'll go to there right now. It's in this chest right here, so you should be able to get one of the scrap metal parts. And then we go to the next one, and you should be able to find it right here where the lighthouse is. And then now we go to the next location, or well, if I well, or if I have to say it, the last location. And then I should, and the last chest should be right here with the last scrap metal that you need. And then finally, you follow me and go back to the robo guy. He should be over here. Well, the junk bot. And then after you talk to him, he should be able to give you the achievement Turbo Wheel, which will get you a free upgrade and a, and a free boost, which will be needed for the next achievement. No, next achievement. Of course, hat machine. Hat machine's pretty easy to get. It literally is on the top of the hat machine on where you buy your hats with the tickets. It's not that hard of an achievement if I have to say so myself. Seagull Trinket. Now this is a really hard achievement to get. I will definitely say it takes a lot of skill. You don't really require the boost for this one, so don't worry. You just require pretty good timing. And I mean really, really good timing. Like, trust me. This achievement's hard to get. So first of all, you want to get all the way up there. Do you see that mountain over there? Yep. You have to get all the way on, on top of a tree, which I'll show you how to do. So first, you gotta parkour all the way up to this hill. Then you gotta do some more parkour to get up right up here. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, wow. That was weird. Basically, jump up here, double jump up here again, and then you have to double jump up here. Now, this is the hard part. Suggested so to do this on a PC, because on mobile, this will be really hard. So, you jump like this, then you jump like this, and then you hover. And for the next part, you jump like this, and then you hover again. Also, it is some free chicken industry, so yeah, big treat. And you see the seagull over there? That seagull should be holding a ticket. And the reason you want to get to this part of the tree is at some point, the seagull will be able to glide right by you, and at some point, you have to double jump and hover at the right moment when the seagull is going to be coming towards you. And then you should be able to grab the ticket midair, and yeah, that's how you get the seagull ticket. I'm not going to show you how to explain it because this achievement is really hard to get, but nice achievement. The next achievement is a chicken shrine. Basically, near the volcano, you have to find a secret chicken statue. Well, this is why you need the boost. So first of all, you want to go all the way down. Oh, okay, I just helped on me. So I want to go all the way here and start boosting. Then you go right here where junk bots house is. You keep on boosting. Make sure you hold down your boost, by the way. And you come all the way over here. You keep on boosting, and then at some point, right behind here, you should find a free way to get chicken, and also, a ticket, right here in front of your eyes. And then the next achievement, the storm drain. I'll show you how to do that, but of course, gotta edit my way to there. And if we come right here to the beach, near the sewer stage, if you follow me and come right here, there should be a storm drain right here. And then you walk through this part. You walk through here, and then right behind the board, you have to crouch. And you walk by in, and boom. Free ticket. Also, it should be showing right there, above there. So if you go over here, there should be a vent, which will show you the ticket. But of course, it's kind of hidden, so yeah, kind of hard to see. So the next achievement, Dermot Traveler, you also need the boost for this. So you know that. So... If you go near the lighthouse, which I'll be going to in a bit, which takes a while to get there, and I'm actually not going to edit this part. So when you go to the lighthouse, 
you want to take a turn this way to this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And if you keep on boosting, which basically gives you the ability to actually go over there, for seagull, that's about the seagull achievement, right behind this tree should be a destroyed robot with some weird tinker thing, and also the ticket. This has to do with lore, by the way, if I have to guess. Anyways, let's go away from that thing. And then for the next achievement, Shipwreck Shore. Of course, I have to edit my way over there, because that will take a while to get to. So, as you can see, I'm right here next to one of the scrap metal chests. So, use a boost for this by going all the way here, drifting on the side, and you'll see to the side that there is a shipwreck somewhere, right over here. And as you can clearly see, well, you can't really see it, you can see... Boom. Well, wait, where is the ticket? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, here's the ticket right here in front of your eyes. Next achievement. Alright, Arc Wave Bridge. This requires some parkour, so it's gonna be hard. But it's not that far by, so I won't have to edit this part. Alright, so we go over here, all the way to the destroyed Arc Wave Bridge, where there's a lot of, like, rubble everywhere. But you'll see that on that part of the Arc Wave Bridge, there is some some plank there now so now what you want to do is this so double jump and then jump on here double jump onto here and this part's tricky so you want to double jump jump off the wall and then if you're able to luckily reach it you should be able to get to the board so let me try again oh my bad I accidentally single jumped double jump jump again Trust me, it's really hard to do this. And then you have to jump, I guess, again. Now, for this part, it's not really that hard. Just hover over. And then just jump over. And then boom. Take it. That easy. Also, this looks like a really good hiding spot in the map. So, yeah. And now we go to the last achievement, which is at the lighthouse. Oh, I'm doing a lot of editing this video. And as you can see here, we're right at the lighthouse. Now, trust me when I mean it. This is a really hard process to do. So, I suggest you're able to practice all, like, all the maps, you do all the maps so far, so you're gonna be able to do this, because this part is difficult. So, these are the steps. You wanna double jump on here, hover, and then jump again. Now you should be on this tree right here. Now here comes the hard part. At an edge of the bush, you wanna double jump, hover, have this part of the lighthouse move your character up, and then somehow be able to, um, dash onto there. Really hard process, I know. This is actually one of the hardest achievements to get out of Blueport Fort. Not the hardest achievement in the game, though. Like, trust me. There are some way harder achievements. Like, way harder. Ooh yeah, this game is pretty difficult when you think about it. Alright. So, trying to do the process again. Jo oh, I failed. My bad. Jump again. Oh, I failed. Oh, I was able to get it up anyways. Now. Come on! You no, 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 no! Damn it. Ah, oh, this is really hard to do. Like, trust me, this process is really difficult. It took me, like, a lot of attempts to try and figure out how to do this. So, yeah. Let's figure out, like, and subscribe to the video. Forgot to mention that in the video. Of course I want, of course I want to mention that in, like, almost every video I have, I messed up again. But yeah, it's really difficult, so I'm just gonna pause the process until I'm finally able to somehow get to the tree, so yeah. And as you can finally see, I am finally up here! This took me so much attempts, it was actually get, starting to get annoying. Now this part, it's pretty difficult. And this is, like, touch me, this will take a while to get to this palm tree. So what I wanna do is double jump, hover, hover up a little, and then you should be able to grab onto the ledge, and you got the ticket! And you basically got every blue port for an achievement. You got Turbo Wheel, Hat Machine, Seagull Trinket, Chicken Shrine, Storm Drain, Dormant Traveler, Shipwreck Shore, Arcway Bridge, and Bridge Lookout, and everything you get on here except for Turbo Wheel gives you a hat ticket. So yeah, happy spending your hats, and I am finally finished with this video, guys. Goodbye.